Good afternoon and welcome back to where absolutely nothing happened. A little nicer day today than it was yesterday. Yeah, a certain parts of the back is just sweaty and not really, but yeah, what back of the place is just sweaty. It's just ugh. I don't know if the air conditioning is working or not, but at work though. But yeah, it's just like ugh. Summertime joys. Here's I got here some meatballs. I'm gonna put some gravy on it. And or I got a search we're done. I'm gonna do a do a fill in later. Unfortunately, no U-Haul today as of yet. I've, it's almost six o'clock, so I haven't got to go check the mail again just to cover my butt. That'll probably be later. I'm gonna rewatch Cheers. About to start on the, the Dukes of Hazard and then finish off with Growing Pains. Same three episodes. It'll be the same three shows until I run out. Or until I finish one, whichever happened. Until I finish the first of three, whichever that happens, that'll be. How about a clue? Sure, why not? Italy. I know someone who just came home from Italy. Italy for 400 bucks. Yesterday's double jeopardy answer was Naples has survived eruptions of this nearby volcano, most recently in 1944. Fashton, what is Mount Vesuvius? I chose Etna first and then Vesuvius. It's like, damn. That's a bit of an ouch. Italy for 1200 Today's Double Jeopardy answer is, home to many fine palaces and churches, this city hosted the 2006 Winter Olympics. That would be Torino, Italy. Naturally. I remember those games. I actually watched those games. Cindy Carson came on home with five medals. Canada just, Canada women's ice hockey team just basically steamrolled the competition on the way to gold. Our men, on the other hand, uh, basically the last four games. 11 of the 12 periods, they got shut out. And the one, and the one period, they actually got Score there was enough to win the game three to two over the Czech Republic. And they got three goals in the first period and they got right back to nothing. Oh, they were hor they were horrible. They only had three minutes said they just, they just basically didn't gel. Nah, they deserved the finish they got. Unfortunately for them, but And, 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 usually on the last day of the Olympics in the summer, they got the marathon. And this year was a ma women's marathon. And the winter equivalent is the 50K cross-country skiing event. At least it was in 2006 for the men. And once you know it, an Italian won. It was Giorgio Di Centa. And then a wild... Wild and crazy and cool twist of fate, in a good way. His sister Manuela, who also is a pretty damn good cross-country skier, was handing out the medals at at the closing ceremonies for that 50k race. So, sister getting to uh, put a medal around her own little brother's neck. What a moment that was. You don't see it often, but there you go. So, yeah. So, that's uh, how Torino, Italy was the answer, is the uh, obvious answer. To me, it's obvious. If you don't believe me, look up the 2006 Winter Olympics. You will see. And they had a pretty good logo for that one, too. And the mascots' names were Nev and Gliz, which is Italian for ice and snow. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, so yes, 
time to put the dukes on now. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.